Let's go back to that one object we were working with, this, this kind of square one here. And I'm going to take this undo slider and I'm going to undo back before we started working with noise here. So let's talk about it. Let's hit W. And there's another thing we want to talk about, the sticky mode. So I can hold down Alt and tap the top of this object and we've undid a lot. So let's hit OK. And so now this is going to go straight up. So one functionality that you can use with Gizmo or Transpose, you can hold down Control and you can drag out a copy. As long as you don't have any subdivision history, you're able to just hold down control, drag out a copy. And if you let go of all your keyboards and all your tablet or your mouse, you can hold down control and you can drag in another copy, control and drag in another copy. Just in recently in 2018, uh, if you hold down control, drag out a copy, and you keep holding down with your mouse or your tablet, and then you let go of control, it'll keep that distance between them and start populating more objects. So again, hold down control, and let's turn off X symmetry. Hold down control, move this over and then let go of control while still holding down with your mouse and then let go and now you can just make more copies and you can do this with multiple things so we can hold down control and we'll let's do um hold down control alt and we're going to unmask these ones we're going to hold down control drag down and we'll make a little space between here and then i'm going to let go of control and then to continue dragging and it's going to make more copies now the reason i bring this up it's good functionality to use but sticky mode works similarly to that. So with uh, sticky mode enabled, if you turn that on, you're gonna see if I rotate this pivot, it's going to wanna snap back to where I was. So even if I rotate this object and I let go, it's gonna snap that pivot back. If I undo that, turn off sticky mode and rotate the object, it's gonna, the pivot's going to follow that object. I would say usually that's the functionality you want. For example, if we hold down, let's go, let's go, uh, hold down Alt, reset orientation, go to unmesh mesh center, or I'm sorry, go to uh, axis home, or you can go to unmesh mesh center. So for example, if I wanted to rotate this object 45 degrees, I can hold down shift and that'll snap it to a 45 degree angle. And let's say I want to scale along this axis now, I can go ahead and scale. If I do that with sticky mode turn on, I can hold down shift and snap it to a 45 degree angle, but then it resets its orientation. So even if I hold down Alt and tap here, now I can scale along this orientation. I can, alt, I can go to Unmesh Mesh Center and scale down the middle. But if I rotate this again, hold down Shift and we'll snap it again, it's gonna re-snap back. So that's just functionality. If that comes in handy to you, feel free to use that. Another reason you might wanna use this is if you have Sticky Mode turned on, you can hold down Control and you can drag out a copy. Now you can see how the pivot went straight back down to where it was originally. If you go up here to stroke modifiers, there's replay last, replay last relative. We'll get to replay last relative later, but replay last, you can see the hotkey is one. So since we dragged out a copy and the pivot snapped back down, you can just keep hitting one and it'll put more and more copies of this object out perfectly spaced. So you can use sticky in that functionality as well. However, probably the faster way is just to hold down control, drag out a copy and stop with your mouse where you want to stop that, let go of control, and then just continue dragging copies out. Now there are Gizmo preferences. You can go out here to preferences, Gizmo 3D, and you can choose different gizmos or you can hit next gizmo, you can reset your gizmo, you can change your size and your modifier lengths, your cones length, and you can also make your own gizmo. I'm not gonna go into that in these videos. I think it's a little beyond the scope of like a quick start, but I got you covered. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can go to zebras 4 r 8 what's new, and these first five videos are all about, the, uh, all about the gizmo, and you can see right here the custom gizmo information is number five, and you can download these videos for free on my Gumroad and my QBrush page as well. One more thing I want to bring up because it is related to the gizmo. Uh, let's go ahead and hit our comma key here. Go to the tool menu. Let's grab the dog, Z tool. Hide that, drag it on our canvas, go into edit mode. And if you hit W, you're going to have your gizmo here. Uh, actually hit Q. Hold down Control Shift. We have Select Rectangle. Grab, uh, show just a piece of the dog. Hit Control W. Show another piece of the dog. Hit Control W. And now you've got different polygroups here. So what you can do with your gizmo is if you Control click any of these polygroups, it's going to unmask just that polygroup. So if you unmask and then Control click any of the polygroups, that'll go ahead and also position the gizmo where you clicked and unmask just that polygroup. So that can come in handy when you want to mask something that has a polygroup. I can move it independently from the other polygroups here. Uh, another interesting item is if you hold down control and drag, it'll actually drag out edge loops. So you can just continue to control drag out. And it still has the same functionality as when we were dragging out copies. You can hold down control, drag out, let go of control, and then keep dragging and it'll just snap so that you have the exact same span width as when you started. 
Uh, another functionality is if you hit W, you bring up your gizmo and you hold down control and you drag on your object. As you're dragging down your object, you're going to see it's following the topology of your mesh. So if you wanted to say rotate his leg back, what you can do is hold down control and drag where that ankle is. And then you can hold down alt and reposition the gizmo so that you can bend right where that uh, location is. This is the same functionality if you hit Y, that'll bring your transpose line. Uh, you can hold down control as you drag your transpose line. Same kind of idea. And uh, if you hit Y and then hold down control and then say go into mask lasso or mask pin, you can also just use this functionality to mask, control tap to invert. You can rotate this and like we mentioned before, you can hold down control and you know, soften that transition if you want to.